Hello everyone, Mbappe will request to let him go to Madrid and Perez already has a good offer. Messi's PSG debut date revealed, Ronaldo might leave Juventus in the coming weeks, and Laporta spoke about the disastrous financial status of the club. All of these and many more are waiting for you in today's episode. Subscribe, hit the like button and let us know in the comments what should Mbappe do in terms of his future. Should he go to Real or stay with Messi in Paris? And while you're thinking, we are getting started, let's go! Thibaut Courtois has signed a new 5-year contract at Real Madrid, according to their official website. We are not thinking of selling Pedri, Ansu Fati or De Jong, not even for a huge price, Joan Laporta stated. PSG signed young goalkeeper Matthias Rindraimami from the youth academy in his first pro deal through to 2023. I'm pretty sure Pogba could do 5 or 6 assists in one game. Paul is a quality player, MUTV coach Bruno Fernandes. Inter Milan agreed to sign Luka Jovic from Real Madrid on loan without a purchase option. Benzema played his 560 match for the Madrid team this weekend. This is the top 10th result in Real Madrid's history. Serie A is technically and technically a better league, but here in England it's all about the intensity. But I know what the Premier League is and I look forward to it. Football Italia cites Romelu Lukaku. Arsenal negotiated with Barcelona midfielder Elish Moriba, who has a contract dispute with the club. Luka Modric will retire from international football after the 2022 World Cup. Juventus will make a final attempt to get Sassuolo midfielder Manuel Locatelli into their ranks. The clubs can agree on a 35 million euros transfer fee, according to Fabrizio Romano. It's not easy to spend loads of money as we're not in the Premier League. Let's see what we can do before the transfer window closes, Julian Nagelsmann said in his press conference. Braithwaite is the first Danish player in the 21st century to score a brace in La Liga. Barcelona aims for Pierre Emerick Aubameyang from Arsenal, the Blaugrana won to offer Philippe Coutinho in exchange. Nine teams who are a part of the breakaway Super League rejoin European Club Association, as confirmed on the ECA official website. Tottenham have refused another city's bid for English striker Harry Kane. The citizens are willing to spend £120 million to make the transfer, but the Spurs don't go for it. Eden Hazard is still respected in the Real Madrid's dressing room. The teammates appreciate his desire to revive his career in Madrid, as informs Maca journalist Jose Felix Diaz. Rafael Varane had his first training session at Manchester United. Haaland is the man of the first round of Bundesliga. He scored two goals and made three assists in the game against Eintracht. Kante is like 11 players on his own. I'd love to go see him with the Ballon d'Or, Stadium Astro coach John Terry. Mesut Ozil scored his first goal for Fenerbahce. It took 12 games for him to make that happen. Milan are in negotiations with Roma on Italian right-back Alessandro Florenzi, according to Gianluca Di Matteo. The PSG board are sure that Messi's transfer convinced Mbappe to stay for at least one more season. Adama Traore completed 11 successful dribbles in the first Premier League match day to become the top player of the week in this stat, as who scored indicated. Saul Niguez won't leave Atletico in the transfer window. The midfielder is determined to spend the next season in a Madrid club, according to Mundo Deportivo. Leon could sell their left-back star Maxwell Cornet to Burnley, who have already offered £12 million for the guy. Chelsea's interest in West Ham defensive midfielder Declan Rice is fading out as they found an alternate option in Borussia Dortmund's Jude Bellingham. Martin Skirtel left Istanbul Basak Shehir and joined Spartak Trnava, as the Twitter of the Slovak club reported. The best thing about football is when you meet kids like Killian, who becomes an idol for a lot of people, and then you notice that he hasn't changed a bit from that boy you knew, Ricardo Carvalho said in his interview to Goal. Guys, mark that date in your calendar as soon as possible. Here's the news from Sky Sports. Lionel Messi is going to make his PSG debut on August 29 in the League 1 Round 4 against Rams. 
The Argentinian keeps on training with the new team to get back to his best shape after a long summer vacation. With that said, Messi desires to catch up with his optimal condition as soon as possible to fit in with the PSG head coach Mauricio Pochettino's requirements. It's pretty much possible that Lionel might come and join the team in the upcoming game against Brest, but he still won't be able to play. Though it's much more likely on August 29, as the PSG coaching staff will be confident that Messi is finally ready to get in the game. We're looking forward to that day. Shocking news from the Spanish media. The popular publication of El Chiringuito, Cadena Ser, La Sexta and El Transistor unanimously report that Kylian Mbappe is going to meet Nasser Al Halifi and ask the PSG president to let him go to Real Madrid this summer. The player refused a new PSG contract offer and let the club know that this is his final decision. According to journalist José Pedrerol from El Chiringuito, Mbappe is going to tell PSG management about his desire to leave. At the same time, he will not make any public statements out of respect for the club. The striker wants the club to finally enter into negotiations with Real Madrid and let him go in peace. The source is pretty reliable in terms of the news about Los Blancos, by the way. In recent years, Pedrero was the first to report on departures of Cristiano Ronaldo, Sergio Ramos, Rafael Varane, as well as the return of Zinedine Zidane and Eden Hazard transfer. That speaks for itself. And Jose Luis Sanchez of La Sexta adds that Mbappe is obsessed with the idea of becoming the new Madrid superstar. Hence, the sudden appearance of Lionel Messi at PSG didn't affect his decision whatsoever. Kylian has always dreamed of wearing a Real Madrid jersey and believes this summer is the perfect time to make the dream come true. There is also an insider from Carrusel Deportivo that Real is aware of Mbappe and Al Halifi's meeting and already prepared an official proposal for the player in case the PSG president accepts Kylian's request. Los Blancos will pay 120 million euros for the Frenchman and encourage him to a five-year contract and truly galactic salary, as the source states. Anyway, Real wants to close the deal before the transfer window closes and expect Mbappe to continue moving on towards the possible transfer. Everything should be decided within the next two weeks. It's very unexpected to see that Cristiano Ronaldo might also be a part of those transfer actions this summer. Famous journalist and Ronaldo's close friend Eduardo Aguirre stated during El Chiringuito TV that the player's future could indeed change before the transfer window closes. Although the source did likely hint at his PSG transfer, we've noticed another article from the Italian newspaper Corriere dello Sport the same day which says that Ronaldo offered his services to Manchester City. What a twist! PSG or Man City? It appears from this moment we'll be guessing the next Ronaldo's club between those two. Huh, wait a minute. There's actually one more participant in the race as Aguirre eventually let it slip and told about Ronaldo's potential return to Madrid. Carlo Ancelotti is very keen to sign Cristiano Ronaldo and the deal might happen within the next few days. In Real Madrid's dressing room would be very happy to see Ronaldo's return. Carlo has been calling Cristiano and his agents for several weeks now and he is very obsessed with his return. The transfer may take place before the end of the summer. Whoa, is Ronaldo really going to make a comeback to Barnabao? We breathlessly wait for further news in this regard. This is not the end of the PSG actions on the transfer market. The Independent tells that the Parisians didn't give up on the possible signing of Manchester United superstar Paul Pogba. The Red and Blues are going to offer the Frenchman a contract with over 30 million euros per year and the chance to be a part of an impressive project featuring Gianluigi Donnarumma, Ashraf Hakimi, Sergio Ramos, Jorginho Wijnaldum and Lionel Messi. We literally cannot imagine how Paul can reject that. Barcelona president Joan Laporta called a regular press conference where he spoke honestly about the financial condition of the club based on the outdated reports. Here, we've highlighted the key points for you. As of today, the club has a debt of 1.30 billion euros. The total loss for the financial year was 481 million euros. We have a negative working capital of 553 million. Losses due to the pandemic amounted to 91 million euros. We had to carry our urgent repairs at Camp Nou. Otherwise, it would have been simply unsafe to visit. It cost us 1.8 million euros. 
La Liga gave us false hope that we could resign Lionel, but they didn't tell us what we have to do in exchange. After the meeting, we could not accept their proposal. The past management earned 222 million euros for selling Neymar and spent this money irrationally, wasting it at the speed of light pace. Bartomeu's politics is a complete disaster. The truth is, the players didn't even want to talk to him. Dear friends, please check out our cool videos from other channels. Top Football, Top Football News and Vamas. Enjoy the show. It was the Football News channel. You guys have a great day and see you next time. Bye-bye.